Hello, I'm Andy Moore, and today we're installing wheel arch moldings. Hey, welcome back, viewers. As some of you may remember, I have a 2016 Subaru Outback in La Pise Blue. La Pise? I don't know. Uh, anyway, it did not come with the stock wheel arch moldings around the wheel arches, uh, and I thought I was okay with it for a long time, but I've got some new tires and wheels coming here in the next couple of weeks, and I feel like it needs a little bit of extra protection. Also, as uh, many of you uh, fellow Outback owners know, and just, I guess, car owners in general, the wheel arches is exactly where all of the door dings and scratches are happening. So I bought these on Amazon, and I'll be honest, I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. However, if it saves me some scuffs and dings, then maybe it's worth it. Uh, also, they look good, right? We have the wheel arches on our 2020 Ascent, and I like the way they look over there, so I figured why not put them on my Outback. So let's take a look at what's in the box, and then we will put them on. Okay, so uh, in the box are these four arches, and then a bag of clips um, that you can see uh, we'll look in some cleaning pads and some little uh, anti-friction tape pieces. Uh, this kit was made by Angela. Thanks, Angela. Uh, you'll also note that in each of these, uh, it says uh, RR for right rear, RF for right front, um, so you kind of know where they go. However, however, it's worth noting that there are no instructions in the box. I did what all of you probably did to get here. I just Googled a video uh, on how to install them. It's pretty straightforward, and so I will walk you through it right now. Okay, so it's a foggy day here in Oklahoma City. So first step, of course, is to dry off the area. Uh, there's also some little cleaning pads that we'll use, and those pads go on the inside of the wheel well. So I'm going to make sure that I wipe it out real clean, uh, just to make sure we don't miss anything. And then always good right, to do a little test fit. For one, this helps make sure that you have the right, the correct wheel. Uh, and so you can... Uh, you can see in the video there, yeah. Ooh, ooh, very nice. And so like the back ones have a little dent, uh, indentation so they don't uh, affect the door opening or closing. And you'll see on these, there's uh, a little rubber surround that goes around the edge to help make the seal. I know a lot of folks are worried about dirt and grime getting in there and scratching the paint, which I get, but also you're going you're gonna to take these off, right? No one's going to take these off. We're going to leave them on. So if something gets inside of there, I guess you're worried about rust. That's probably a bigger issue in northern states than it is down here uh, if you get salt in there. But uh, anyway, you want to make sure that you keep that surround on the outside. All right, so the first step is uh, you'll see on here there's holes all along uh, inside. the. There's four or five holes, I guess. Uh, and those are where these little clips are going to fit. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and so each of these clips uh, is like a, oh, well. So in the bag, there are two different types of clips. One is kind of a, let's see if I can hold it up, kind of a little Z shape, right? And then the other clip is just like a C shape. You can, you can see those there. Uh, and so the point of this, these I believe go on the front because they kind of clip into the edge of the wheel well. Uh, on the front, they, this the bigger part is what holds the trim piece and the other part clips on to the inside of the wheel well uh, and you'll notice that's how it works in the front i'll show you that and the other piece these fit on the back um, each one of them if you look on the inside you see that little bump up in there well, let's see there we go uh, so that little tab pops up and that's what clips into these holes there's also just a few screws those screws go on each one um, to hold it in place uh, and so we'll do that when we get to the front I'm going to show you one back one front not all four because obviously it's symmetrical on the two sides first step is to uh, clean it with the alcohol pads uh, and then put the little adhesive tabs on the 
these are legitimately the smallest alcohol wipes I have ever seen in my entire life. So what I'm going to do is hold up this uh, trim piece and then use a sharpie to mark. This will be on the inside of the wheel well, so you won't see it, uh, but to mark where those holes are because that's where the anti-friction pieces of tape go and that's where the clips are going to go when we're done. Next step is to use these clear pieces of anti-friction tape. This is what protects the paint on your car from the panel itself. And then when you get that done, you're just going to uh, put the panel up there and slip this clip in. It goes around the edge of the inside lip of the door. As you can feel, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, so that the little knobby clips into the hole. Let's see if I can show you up close. Alright, so you can see... You can see right here is the hole. So that I uh, place the tape on the inside there. You can, I think you can see it there, the clear tape. So when you put the panel up, you just take this little clip um, and then you you put it with the uh, the whole side down, and then put it over. So that it clips on both sides and it's pretty it's pretty firm okay so something i did not re <laughs> did not realize at first is that not all the clips are the same uh, i showed you a little z-shaped clip and i showed you a flat c-shaped clip but i didn't realize that there is also a thinner you can kind of see this one is a lot shorter than this one uh, this one also has a hole in it um, on one side. So there are three sizes of clips. Oh, no, excuse me. Four sizes. There's also this smaller one that looks more like a trim clip. Um, it doesn't have the same finish as the rest. Uh, I think that goes on the back of the panel where the screw goes in because there's a hole all the way through it. I really wish there was instructions with this. Okay, so I'm going to try to back up a little bit, take these off, and then we'll walk through this together. All right, well, after a little bit of research, I figured out which clips go where, thanks to Color Change Customs for doing videos about installing these wheel arch moldings as well, and for buying the instructions, which you can do online, I just didn't want to do it. I uh, found out that the thicker of the two C-shaped clips, you know, hold them up again so the thicker ones there's eight of those those go on the back the smaller ones go on the front uh, also these other ones that I said that are a different finish those are clearly for the screw with the hole in it those go on the back as well so you need the the fat ones and the screw ones those go on the back uh, and so let's uh, put them on it's a pretty snug fit All right, so I'll show you what this looks like here. Um, you can see, I think right there, that's where the clips are. Maybe this side's a little easier. It's a little hard to see out here in the light. Clips. And then this back one here um, is going to be where this clip goes like. Okay, you can see that. Yeah. Just got it on. I'm pretty sure this is correct. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so uh, now we're going to do the front window or the front wheel wells. And as always, when I make videos, there's someone that's chopping down trees down my street, and I can hear the the wood chipper running. I apologize for that. That's I have no control over it. Okay, so for each front wheel, you're gonna need one alcohol clean pad, five of the uh, anti-abrasive sticky pads, 
two of the Z-shaped clips, two of the smaller clips, uh, and then the screw and that associated clip. I'm going to clean it up first. I'm going to fit the molding to the wheel well. Then I'll put the clips in. Something important to note on these front ones is that the screw has to be drilled. That this is the only drilling that has to happen. Um, and I think the screws are appear to be like self-tapping almost. So um, it should go into the trim on the front pretty easily. Uh, on the back wheels, as you probably noticed, the screw goes towards the back of the car. On the front, it goes towards the front of the car. Okay, let's clean it up. Okay, so something important to notice, as I said earlier, there are two of these like Z-shaped clips and two of the flat ones. You'll notice that the Z-shaped ones go on the top where the lip of the wheel well kind of curves up because they have to clip into the top of the lip. So they kind of clip in like this and then the, the trim piece fits in there like so. I dropped the first clip <laughs> into the molding in the back, like into the the into the mud flap, which means I gotta take off the mud flap in order to get the clip out. There's a tiny hole there. That's super annoying. That wasn't in the instructions. Color customs, that was not part of your video. Kind of hear it click in. So I was wrong about the screws. They're not self tapping. You have to drill uh, a quarter inch hole. All right, well, I'll have to take this, <laughs> take off my mud flap to get that clip out, but you've got the basic idea. Uh, the next shot will be a wide shot showing what they look like once they're installed. So I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, the only complaint I have is that the moldings are new. My car is five years old and thus the moldings are a wee bit darker than, uh, than the rest of the trim. I'm hoping that a little bit of sunlight uh, will help fade the new moldings a little bit. And also if I probably cleaned the old moldings, that would help as well. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe the video if this has been helpful at all. I'd love to hear your feedback about what modifications you're doing to your cars, outbacks or otherwise. Uh, coming soon will be a uh, ladder installation that should be pretty quick and it's gonna look pretty rad. And I also have uh, finally hooked up all the lights on the front, on my front bar. Can we see those? Yeah, you see those. So that's gonna be cool. Um, I've, I need to finish that video and post it as well. So it'll probably come after this one. Okay, have a good weekend uh, and you guys stay safe.